We didn't know Paul's name. We called the precinct. Another precinct had made the arrest. Why were there other charges? We weren't family. We didn't know Paul's name. We called the district attorney's office. We weren't family. We didn't know Paul's name. I called the criminal courts. I wasn't family and I didn't know Paul's name. Darling, why does it mean so much to you? <clears throat> like the paper said, we have heart. Having a heart is not the point. We were hardly taken in. We believed him for a few hours. He did more for us in a few hours than our children ever did. He wanted to be your child, don't let that go. He sat out in that park and said, that man is my father. He's in trouble and we don't know how to help him. Help him? He could have killed me and you. You were attracted to him. Oh, cut me out of that pathology, you're on your own. Attracted by his youth and talent and the embarrassing prospect of being in the film of Cats. Did you put that in your Times piece? And we turned him into an anecdote to dine out on or dine in on. But it was an experience. I will not turn him into an anecdote. That's what this is about? There will always be women in rubber flirting with me. Give me a break. Every single day, I walk down the street. I hear people say, baby, so sweet. Ever since puberty, everybody stares at me. Boys, girls, I can't help it, baby. So be kind and don't lose your mind. Just remember that I'm your baby. Take me for what I am. So much more original than any of us. She'd find an old tablecloth on the street and make it into a dress. And sure enough, the next year, they'd be mass producing it at The Gap. <laughs> you always said how lucky you were that we were all friends. But it was us, baby, who were the lucky ones. Soup with raisins and dumplings, but oh, you know the problem with making duck blood soup no more. You, you can't, can't find no duck blood. 